Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Very glad to see you again and uh, last episode finished off with uh, this realization that we do have a bit of a flooding incident. It seems the lake in District 3 has filled up all the way to the top, which means our pond and everything around has started, started to flood a little bit as well. We'll bring the UI back. Uh, we'll lower this down. No, oh, it's gonna flood everything here. Well, I guess we could use this emergency system that we put in place. And I think we can also lower you to 1.5. Let's see what happens. Uh, one time speed, please. These gates shall be open as well. Got a flood coming in soon, but I think we're... We are okay. Yeah, that should help. There's more water running through this system here now. A bit of a spillage over here, but nothing to worry about. You know what, let's do 2.5 here. So we're still feeding this system. No, we don't need it here, do we? Yeah, let's close it for now. We'll keep this waterfall going. And that should help us regulate the, the level of the water. Okay, cool. Now, next thing. Our usual naming the next beaver and welcome, welcoming them to the colony. Let's see if we can catch someone. Who's, uh, who's this over here? That's Brazil. Okay, we've got a beaver. And the next beaver that we're... Or the person that we're going to welcome to the colony... Because they're transforming or turning into a beaver, yeah. That's pretty much it. He's going to be Matthias Fillet. Okay, welcome to the colony. You will be working at the hauling post. And uh, your post, uh, or, or the comment, I mean, got whole 29 likes. So thank you very much for the support, Matthias. And uh, hope you enjoy. Now, I know how we've been doing it for a few episodes. That'd be only big one. But I think there's a few honorary mentions that I do want to add to the colony as well we um have john beaver and because his last name is a beaver i think he deserves a spot in our colony so welcome to the colony john thanks for the support and i uh, hope you enjoy our videos in the future as well all right so that's the names done uh next topic to cover let's just double check before we move on and forget about the the water situation yeah it seems okay uh tiny bit of blood here got a few dynamites in place as well but i think they might not be able to reach all the way so let's bring a couple more roads and oh that would have been almost perfect i don't know let's uh let's do one through here see are you guys able to reach yes you should be so we just needed another dynamite do we have enough yeah we got about 98 over there What's going on with our lumberjack? Ah, uh, it's flooded, so he's not gonna take down the trees. Well, that's inconvenient. However, we'll do another lumberjack here. For the time being. And then, once we get the trees down, we'll finish off the canal here as well. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Moving on talking about this big project that uh, yeah we, well in the past few episodes we've uh, looked at a few different ways how to do it and um, I've taken a bit of time honestly I swear I have put some very serious thought into this and I know in last episode I already clarified that okay fine let's not flood the whole map it would be smart let me just try and go over to district 3 let's try and put in this canal first which we are already doing but I still want to see some more water on this side of the map. So we did start building up some levees in here. And talked about some uh, potential outposts. So we can uh, create another canal. Uh, something like that. But I was thinking, I think there was a comment that caught me a, a pretty cool idea. Uh, it wasn't exactly what the commenter said. Again, I should have screenshotted the comment. But I cannot remember. There's just so many comments. I cannot remember who it was because it was on my phone before as well. But essentially, he was talking, he or she, 
I was talking about some some um, dams and aqu aqueducts, and I was thinking, okay, great idea, but how about changing it up a little bit? Instead of you know flooding whole map, which we're not doing it anyways again, uh, or anymore. I mean, what we could do is because there's so much water coming through here, we could build up some levees. Let me let me grab a few and maybe pause it as well. So we'll build them up from here, both sides, kind of like the um, this um, dam looking aqueduct that we have. We'll do a similar thing that we can control the flow. Bit of a waterfall down. Uh, floodgates on both sides or one side only. To still regulate the water inside this area here. And then we could bring the water actually right over here. I don't know why I was thinking that I should bring it from across the map. Whereas if we could have done pretty much over here. So yeah, just a few levees. I dropped the water in here, raised the level. And that would save us so much time. Honestly. I feel sort of bad that I've already started this. I'm not going to stop building this because... Um, what was I going to say? Uh, because um, there was also a few mentions that we should do a hydroelectric dam or a, or a facility in here. Uh, well, somewhere on the map, not, not specifically here. But I was thinking, since this is such a huge plot of um, usable land here... And I do want I need to raise the water anyways because I, I want to also flood these canals or river systems uh, somewhere around here. So we could do a bit of a two or three or four in one kind of thing where we build up a reservoir, something like this here, but just on here with levees. I know it doesn't look the most, most nicest thing, but we could build up this reservoir and then have this absolute absolutely ginormous hydroelectric uh, electric dam i'm really struggling with with words as you can as you can see uh, i'm sorry um so yeah that's that's a that's an idea don't have to build this whole river system although it would be cool to still have something going here this massive reservoir floodgates letting through uh, water in different directions and the uh, getting some power whilst doing that as well. Because we could put, um, what is it, those water wheels in here. Also on that side. And this side if we wanted to. Well, basically everywhere. We could just literally put them everywhere. Although we don't need, need them. We don't need that many. Right, so I think what I've just talked about. That's like two or three different ideas. I'm going to slowly start building up for... But that, I mean, this one here, I definitely want to do. Again, I do want to let this water through. So, let's start with this here. In... How should I say this? Just to prepare ourselves for future. I think we will make this quite wide. Uh, maybe... Yeah, because if, 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 if we're going to make this, we might as well go big. This could also be where we place a new district with all, uh, all the water pumps. Because I think it was... Was it Leila or someone else that mentioned in the comments that we should do um, production-specific districts? So I'm not going to do it straight away. But this could be then used for the water pumping station. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so... Uh, whilst I was talking, I was hoping I'll, I'll be able to figure out where I want to start this from, but it seems I cannot do two things at the same time. So I have not figured this out, and I think... Ah, uh, decisions. It's its always so difficult. Okay, you know what? How wide do we need it? Let's now... I think this side might be easier. It's all with roads over here. Uh, so either here or here. Okay, these are the two options. You do it from this side, it's going to block the road. That's not good. However, if we do it from this side... Yeah, maybe a little bit better option. I think. You know what? Let's just do it. Auto save. Yep. We're just gonna... Do this through Yeah. Let's see what else. Uh, levees. 
I'm going to miss the right alignment. Uh, no. Here it goes. And we'll just do the top ones. Wait, it's not going to go that high, is it? Yeah, yeah, that, that's the highest bit. Okay. And maybe, maybe like so. And somewhere here. I think we have to do the corner first. Although they should be able to reach it from the stairs. We'll do it from one side first. And I think we also should... Probably... Where are they? I uh, put a few... I'm very blind right now. Here they are. Put a few floodgates in place as well. I think they take 15 planks, so... How about we just do three... And the other two are... Levees... And platforms to cross over. How about that? Can you reach? You should be able to. Okay, cool. Speed up the time a little bit as well. Hmm, what's going on here, guys? And girls, we got loads of carrots. Why is no one harvesting them? Or well, maybe our population is just too big here. Could be that as well. Okay. Pretty sure they'll be able to harvest all the, all the good stuff there. And let's just check our uh, lake district here. Water seems okay. Yeah, we got water pumps and everything. Okay, that seems good as well. Now, uh, dynamites. Can we place a few more? Yes, we can. The trees are out. Okay, we need... How many more? Let's start with this. We'll pause you for a second. Give you a high priority. Don't think we need you anymore. And there's no trees in range, so you can go as well. Cut trees, we don't have anything to cut here. Okay, so whilst the beavers are planting the... Or installing the last of um, last of the dynamites... Are we still flooding this area? No, we're not. Shouldn't be. Okay. Water levels dropping here. Uh, okay, it seems we're... Doing okay now. Okay, that's good. So, another thing... When it comes to foresters and then trees and and that um, I did read on Reddit that trees actually self plant if that makes sense to you I hope so let me just clear tidy this up it really kills my frames for some reason when I open this this view uh, let me just try and do this real quick. Okay, so essentially, coming back to the idea of what I said before, they are self-planting, so when they grow up, they if there's space next to them, then they apparently drop seeds in the tiles surrounding them. So what you can do is, you can plant the trees in sort of checkered format. Something like this. And in theory, you should not need, need foresters anymore. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the whole field... We'll get rid of the... What's it called? The Forester. And then we'll be back and... Uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to check if it works or not. Alright, and we are back. So that should be the trees done. What we can do now is... Stop the, uh, one of the Foresters at least. I do want to still put a few more up here. And I... So another comment that mentioned that we should try and also change them up to different trees in here. So let's 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 do that as well. Couple. Yes, yeah, something like that. A few maples. And birches. Maybe we should have left that empty. Nope. Yep, here we go. Cool. Uh, let's check back on, uh, on the dynamite situation. And looks like we are good to go. Okay. Yep, that looks pretty good. 
Off you go. Ah, it's still gonna go everywhere. Yeah, we are gonna have to drop another level somewhere around here. Let's check on the progress of levies and... Not bad. Is anyone building this platform? Maybe we should have upped the priority on, on this. I'm really hoping these get done first. But that's okay. No rush, beavers. Do you have planks and stuff? Yeah. Okay. That seems to be going quite nicely. And let's have a quick look from above. Yeah, just need to do this bit in here. And that would look pretty... Pretty good. Just imagine that this water isn't here. Then it's going to bend around. Um, hit the levee wall. It's going to be a bit of a... Well, not really a bit of a lake unless we really, really want it. I mean, we could put a few levees in here. To store some of that water. And then a, t a few dams on top to let any excess water go out. Yeah, maybe that's something we'll, we'll, we'll do in the future. Okay, coming back... Um, yeah, this project that I mentioned here, the little shortcut, I mean, it's not too difficult for us to do. We just have to move a few things around, be a little bit more smart about it, maybe even put another stair set of stairs that goes up. Um, I just don't want to go through the heart monument over here. So it'll have to be maybe two tile cap, and this, this road can stay in place as well. But about here is when we need to remove things and Build levies up. So let me know what you think about this. Because in my opinion, that could be a way smarter solution. And as long as we put a couple of plant gates in here as well, we can exactly or precisely control the the level of the water. And not, uh, I think that was a worry for a lot of you, including myself. And, and not drown uh, District 2, because that would be terrible. Okay, yeah, let's leave them, leave them be. They've got quite a lot to do in here. And let's move on. Where were we going? Oh yeah, this section here. We'll speed up the time as well. We've got a couple of beavers. Is the night... What? Why are you walking here in the middle of the night? Oh, I guess they haven't gone to sleep yet. Oh, hunger, thirst. This guy is not doing great. Got water here. we got berries. Yeah, it should be fine. Maybe we'll give you some bread as well. You know what? Yeah, bring some bread. Drought has started. That is okay. Just want to check that we're not pumping the last of the water out of here. Yep. None should be going through. That's okay. And that was the last of the waterfall as well. Cool. It's all dried up now. This river should be done as well. Yep. It is. Sweet. Let's just go over... Back to about here. How many beavers do we still have? We've got only six. How's that possible that there's only six? We've got so many houses here. Oh. Let's move a few over then. Any unemployed? Nope. What about here? Migrate population. So we'll take two of you. We'll send you to District 5. And from District 3. We've got five in here. You know what? Let's send you all. Five of them. Let's go to five. Alright. Any homeless? Just one. So maybe we can send them back later. Should be okay. Alright, what are you guys up to? Building something. Probably levees. I think probably this one. Okay. Oh no, they're doing these here. Cool. Now, I do want you to finish these... Uh, berries. Blueberries, I mean. So that way we can queue up some more levies. Yeah, we can do this one. I just want to leave a bit of a gap so they can... I'm not really sure why, I do, why I'm doing this. But I'm doing it for some reason. Okay? Good. So that's going, going ahead. Oh, I know. They're still unemployed here, aren't they? So the first thing we should do, or, or second, is to... Let's have another... Another builder's hut here. Right in here. You are the highest priority because we want more builders to stop building stuff quicker. Yep, that's what I wanted to say. And we also got this construction here as well. 
And once it's done, that should move along a little bit quicker. I think food situation... It was still fine here. Carrots... Hmm. Always a problem, aren't they? Forgot to turn this off. Um, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's not a problem. It, it is fine. We've got plenty of trees. It's not like we're short on logs or anything. They've taken these trees out as well. Okay. I mean, I guess we might as well finish it now for some... Yeah. I mean, I suppose the levees... These are fine. If we were to raise the water in here... Uh, and that was mentioned in one of the comments as well. As long as the water comes to their height... Then it's okay to build high stacks of, of levees or, or high walls. Because they're, they're gonna be underwater mostly. But then again, from the other side, you can see this massive. Um, yeah, maybe I didn't think it through. It made sense in my head before. Over here, it seems like our platforms are almost in place. You can't reach it. Why? Oh, okay. You have to do them ones first. Gotcha. That is okay. Now, let's plan out how do we want to control the water level here. Definitely need some dynamites. And they are under landscaping. So that will have to be, I don't know, something like that. The corners should be three. And this a little bit bigger as well. Okay. That's starting to look, look a little bit better. I guess, um, no. This should do... Then we can put a few floodgates here. Let's see, levees. How tall was the floodgate? Three. Yep. They're gonna need some access. Yeah, that's out of reach right now. So what we'll do is we'll bring a road. That's not a good spot because we're gonna put some floodgates here. And now they should be able to build those levees as well. So that is... That is beautiful. Uh, so District 3, we are doing A-OK. -okay. Nothing wrong in here. Oh, let's do check the food situation. Yeah, we got plenty of carrots. Oh, we are losing. Yeah, we need some more water. Why did I turn it off? Oh, because it's flooding. No. I'm not sure what I'm saying right now. But here it goes. What about one? No water comes through. Okay, so 0 0.5. Wow, they have been very, very busy here. That's quite a few levees already done. Is anyone building platforms? No. Guess it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. We'll release some water via here. This floodgate. Okay. Uh, nothing to report in this section. How are the levees doing? Got a few builders in. Fantastic. And it looks a couple of the beavers have already started building. This, um... Now that I think about it... Why did we not build a bridge here? How expensive were the bridges again? 30 planks... Oh yeah, platforms are cheaper. Uh, meh. We can, yeah. Let's let's let leave it as it as it is. Okay, cool. What are you guys still doing? You're still going up here. Okay, they really want to build those levees first, which is understandable. Now that they've taken out the blueberries, we can actually start queuing up a few more levees here and there. So that's gonna take some time, but at least you all hopefully understand what I'm uh, what I'm going going at over here or at least what I'm trying to trying to say uh, I think well with the colony in general yes we're already at a point where we you know we, we could end the series but I do want to get those rivers flowing around these different areas as well so as long as there's a um, few people that are interested to still watch and see the development of the colony I think we might might do a a few more episodes after we get those bigger projects done. 
Um, there was a few re uh, episode requests, very spe specific ones, which I'll definitely do as well. But other than that, we might be moving on to either a different game soon or to do the... Uh, what were they called again? The Iron Teeth uh, faction and play it on a hard mode. Which I have a feeling is most likely going to be a short series because I have not played them at all uh, until... Well, well, I have not played them at all is what I'm trying to say. And uh, I was thinking if I'm, I'm going to do a series... Uh, let's leave it as a surprise, so I'm not gonna, you know, test them out, practice things, so I'll just record it uh, as it, it's my first time really seeing them. I mean, of course, I have seen Reddit posts and uh, I know what their buildings are and 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 so on, but, um, well, what I'm trying to say is I have not played with them yet, as I haven't played as Iron Teeth. Anyways, enough of blabbing. That's pretty much it for the uh, for this episode. Thank you very much for for tuning in and let me know in the comments what um, what do you think about those ideas that I just talked about before and uh, hope you all have a nice uh, morning, day or evening, depends where you are and uh, see you again in the next episode.